how to use average if function in microsoft excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this function explain video series i'm going to explain how you can use the average if function i have already covered the average function you can check that link here and let's get started <laughs> So we have a few product here and we have product price and you have total sale. Now I'm going to find the average based on the product name. Okay. And the best way to learn a function is to apply it. And in this tutorial, I'm going to apply the average if function. Let's apply it and learn how we can use it. What are the parameters and how we can get results from average if function. So first, we are going to find out average sales based on product name. Okay. So here we are going to write the average if function equal and then average if this is the average if function. And you can see here in the tooltip, it says finds average arithmetic mean for the cells specified by a given condition or criteria now double click here and this is our function the first parameter is the range so as we are going to find out average product cells based on the product name so this is the range from where we are going to find our criteria so the first parameter is criteria range and the second one is the criteria which i will be writing here so i am selecting this cell number and the final situation is that total average range so as i'm going to find out the average sales here so i'm going to select this data range now close parenthesis so what this function is going to do is from this data range it will find the product that i am going to write here and then it will find the average of this correspondent column okay now if i press enter it has the error because i haven't selected the criteria now if i write tv here and press enter and you can see total average sale is 3000 okay take a look at here in the criteria i have written tv in lowercase and we have here in uppercase but it doesn't matter it shows the right result so average if function is not case sensitive now let's see if the average we are getting is true so we have two value here tv and this is the total cell so these two are cells from tv now here you can see the total average is 3000 which is here also so it shows the right results now i'm going to find out average price so i'm going to apply the same formula average if and now from this data range i'm going to find the product and comma this is the product name or our criteria and this is the price okay now if i close parenthesis press enter and you can see now if i write here mobile press enter this is the average product price and this is the average sell total sales okay now average using operator we can use different operator inside average if function and let's say i want to find out the total sale amount that is greater than 3000 that means i want to remove this and these two results from the calculation and then from all the other cells i want to find out the average so how i can use that so simply write equal to average if and select the data range this is my data range and now i'm going to write the criteria which is before writing criteria as i'm going to use an operator i will have to write it inside double quotation so this is the first one and i'm going to find out average that has value greater than 3000 that is now if i press enter you can see this is the result so 30000 is the average now how i can make sure this is correct let's select all those cell that has value more than 3000 and you can see here this is the average so you can find average from a selected data range and this is where you can find it okay so we have two way to find average so this is how you can use average if function and i have already covered how you can use average if as function so that tutorial explains how you can use multiple criteria to find out average value so i hope you like this video please make sure you share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe thank you